But we do begin here at noon with the contention at the Capitol. Governor Whitmer and Republican lawmakers go to court over her emergency orders. And Republicans say that she's breaking the law by going around the legislature with nearly 50,000 cases of coronavirus in Michigan. She says that she's just trying to save lives. The issue went before a judge this morning. Local force Priya Mann was following the hearing for us and she joins us now live with the developments. Priya. Everard, we heard from the assistant solicitor general and the attorney representing the Republican controlled House and Senate. Republican lawmakers say Governor Whitmer has overstepped her constitutional authority by issuing ongoing emergency orders due to the pandemic. Law lawmakers argue the governor needs approval from Lansing to extend her executive orders. Michigan is currently under its third emergency declaration since the first confirmed case of COVID-19 in March. But the governor asserts she's within her right, citing two laws, the Emergency Powers of Governor Act of 1940. 45 and the Emergency Management Act of 1976. Both sides appeared before Michigan Court of Claims Judge Cynthia Stevens. Take a listen to an exchange between Assistant Solicitor General Chris Allen and Judge Stevens. Your perception is so long as she perceives validly or invalidly that there is an emergent condition, she can terminate one order and start another for as long as she deems appropriate. And the legislature would have no role under the EMA to do anything about it. No, That's Your kind Honor. Of a yes or no? No, uh, because, and I, I think the, the, the language. No, they can't do anything about it. That's what you're saying. No, Your Honor, what I'm saying is validly or invalidly is, I think, the crux of the matter. She, she can't just say that there's an emergency if there isn't. Yeah, but the question for lawmakers is if Governor Whitmer continues to extend her emergency orders, where does that leave them? What power do they have? Both sides expect to hear back from the court next week. The judge did intimate she thinks this case could go up to Michigan Supreme Court. We'll continue to follow these developments. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All righty, Priya, of course, we'll continue to follow this one.